guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alana if you're new here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how I made my iOS 14 home screen completely aesthetic and also practical because I'm not changing all of my apps to have different covers. But I still wanna show you how to do that and how I got all my fun little widgets. So I just have this little pink and white and cream aesthetic going i will show you what it looks like on a screen recording which should be here on the screen so i just have the calendar widget and then two photos i did covers for four of my apps i have it for camera photos google calendar and gmail and then i arranged my most commonly used apps into four uh, folders on my home page so i have utility health edits and social at the bottom I have my usual um, apps and my dock. So I have messages, phone, Safari, and Spotify. And then on my second page, I just have a constellation widget, which I thought was cool. I'm very into astrology and all of that. So I thought it would be cute to have it on my homepage. And then I have two more folders of apps. I have it categorized by work and shop. These are apps I use frequently, but not as frequently as my other apps. And anything else that I couldn't categorize and wasn't using that frequently, I just put in to my app library. I really like this new feature of iOS 14. It helps you still have all the apps that you might not use on the regular, but keeps your homepage and everything super aesthetic, clean, and easy to navigate. Two apps that you're gonna need are Shortcuts, which should be on your iPhone already. If not, and you might have deleted it before in the past, you can always re-download it from the App Store and Widgetsmith. Um, there's a bunch of different apps that you can do that you can download to get customized widgets, but I personally just preferred Widgetsmith the most, and it's the one I played around with the most. So once you download those from the App Store, just go to the app store search widget smith and then you can download it so once you open it it looks like this you have the options for small medium and large widgets i personally like the small and medium i'll show you how i made the small one so you can just tap it will have like one or two already there and then tap it again um, there's so many different options, so I liked having the date on my homepage since I don't use the Apple Calendar, I use Google Cal, and it's always stuck at 31, so I like having this as easy knowledge of what the date is. Um, I have the bigger calendar for this, but I'll just show you how I made this one. So I just chose day and date, and then you can go and choose the font. If you're in the States, I believe you have access to a lot more um, fonts. I just like the branded font. For tint, I chose white, and for the color, I chose pale pink, and I put a white border around it. My colors were white, pale pink, creams, and kind of like neutral light colors. So once you're done that, you want to hit back and then save, and it'll be there. And then you can go to your home page, and if you just hold down on the background, it will start to shake like you would to rearrange your apps. And then you can just press the plus in the top left corner. Scroll all the way down, hit widget smith, and then you'll see small, medium, and large. We're gonna be adding our small widget today, so then it will come up and it will just kind of pull whatever widget it wants. You can then tap the widget and then select the one that you want. So we want the date small, and then it will appear there and you can move it around like a normal app. So I'm just gonna delete that because I like how my phone looks. So that's how you do that. Um, in terms of doing photos from widget smith you would go to the same thing you could do a small one a large one scroll all the way to the bottom where it says images and then you want to make sure you save the image you want in its own folder so i titled them aesthetic and aesthetic 2 um so you want to have one photo for each widget in each album because you don't get to choose which one so that's a little hack so once you select photo and album you then can select the album so this one was aesthetic 2 and then again save and then you can go and put it onto your home page the same way scroll all the way down widget to a small widget tap the widget and then i believe this is widget three and then there you have it so now i'm going to show you how i made my app covers for camera photos iCal and gmail so you're going to need the app shortcuts for this you're gonna hit the top little plus symbol in the top right corner, add action, scripting, 
open app and you're gonna hit choose. So I'm gonna do books and then press next, name it, uh, name it books or whatever you want. Click the three dots. Okay, so you're gonna reopen it, hit the three dots, press add to home screen. Name it how you want it to look on your home screen. So I've given mine all this spaced out text look. Then you're gonna tap the little icon and then you can choose photo. Say I want it to be this picture of pancakes, then select choose, add, and then it added it to the home screen. You can see it here on my home screen. Then I would go and delete the original books app slash you would like move it to the app library and then you would use the little shortcut. Um, when you tap it, it does like open another app, the shortcut app first, um, but you get used to it. So I only did it for four apps because I don't want that happening with all my apps, but that's basically how I did it. I just did it for four apps I use quite frequently and one on my homepage. I didn't want it in a folder and I wanted them to still look cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it easy to follow. If you're new here, make sure to definitely subscribe, give this video a thumbs up as it really helps support my channel, and comment down below what other types of videos you would like to see from me. I will see you guys soon with regular scheduled content. I have a vlog prepared for you and I plan to update you on a new what I eat in a day video soon. If you're not following me on Instagram and TikTok, they're always linked down below at LanyBFit and at Alana Ray for my TikTok. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time.